right, welcome back. We are looking at vector spaces and subspaces today in section 4.1. So first, let's look at some definitions and then we'll do some examples. So uh, vector space has this long list of things. Um, we have addition uh, and multiplication that happen the way that we think they will. Um, where we're looking at the sum of two vectors u and v, and that's still contained in our vector space v. Uh, we also have that uh, the commutative property of addition works. Uh, our associative property of addition also works. Uh, we have our zero vector, and our zero vector does not change where our um, where u plus our zero vector is going to be. Uh, we have the opposite additive inverse where we have u plus negative u and that gives us out our uh, zero vector. We have scalar multiplication um, with distribution uh, and associative property and our identity property as well. So that is all of these properties are for a vector space. Uh, moreover, we also have that a scalar of zero times our vector will give us our zero vector because we scale all of our, our values down so we get uh, a zero vector that is in the our n space that we're looking at that, that u is in. This is in our n. Uh, so if we scale all of those down, we get, an, uh, we get a zero vector uh, that is also in our n. Uh, if we have a scalar times our zero vector, we still end up with our zero vector. And uh, if you have a negative of a vector, that is equal to the scalar of negative one multiplied by the vector u. A subspace uh, is when you have a subset of a vector, uh, vector space v, uh, and this subset we're going to call h. And it has these three properties. These three properties are that we have our zero vector in H. So the zero vector is contained in our subspace. Uh, the subspace H is closed under addition. So whenever you have a vector U and a vector V, then V plus U, so this vector that I'll change colors for, um, is still contained in our subspace. And we also have a uh, closed under scalar multiplication. So if we have our vector u, then we have our, all our scalar multiplication um, of this vector that we started with are still contained in our vector space h. And that will make a subspace, that will define a subspace of our vector space v. So we have our zero vector, we have closed under addition, vector addition, and closed under scalar multiplication. So let's play a game, subspace or not. So for this first one, is this a subspace or not? It is a subspace because it contains our zero vector. Um, and then it is going to be closed under um, vector addition, right? Because if you take two vectors like that and that, and you add them together, then you're still going to get a vector that is in your h. And uh, similarly, we also have closed under scalar multiplication because no matter what you take, what what scalars you take of like that vector that's in red, it's gonna still be in our subspace h. So, yes. all about this subs this um this h. Oop. How about this h? Subspace or not? Yes, this is a subspace. We contain our zero vector. We have a closed under um, vector addition, right? Still in H. Uh, and it is closed under scalar multiplication because if you take that and you scale it, it's going to still be in H. If you take that and scale it, it's still going to be in H. If you scale it the other way, it's still going to be in H. How about this, subspace or not? No, not a subspace, because look, our zero vector is not contained in H. So this is not a vector, uh, a subspace of our vector space. So 
if we have uh, vectors 1 through p, uh, v sub 1 through p, v sub p, uh, that are in our vector space v, then the span of those vectors is a subspace of v. And so the span of all of those vectors um, is uh, the subspace spanned or generated by the vectors v sub 1 to v sub p. And if we have a subspace of h, a, a subspace named h of v, then it's a, it's a spanning or generating set or h um, are all of those vectors. So those are going to be the span of the vectors v sub 1 to v sub p. So once again, if we have our vectors v sub 1 to v sub p uh, and they are in a vector space, then the span of those vectors is a subspace of v. Right, so let's try a couple problems. So we need to show that the set H of all points in R2 of the form 3s comma 2 plus 5s is not a vector space. A showing that is not closed under scalar multiplication. So if we take our vector, um, let's choose, um, choose a value for s. Uh, let's choose yeah, because like if you just choose s is zero, then you'll end up with a vector zero two. Uh, and is there any way for this to contain the zero vector? No, not with the with a given s uh, reals. But we were asked to show that it's not closed under scalar multiplication, so we can choose something. Um, choose another c. Let's see. Uh, choose um choose some c. Um. To multiply by this vector u, uh, choose like 2, so then 2 times 0, 2 is going to give us the vector 0, 4, and is this contained in our set h? Is there any way, is there some s value that we can use to find 0, 4 given that uh, 3s and 2 plus 5s are what we're starting with? Mm -mm, nope. So uh, we have a set that is not closed under scalar multiplication. Therefore, we do not have a subspace. H is not a subspace of R2. It's not a vector space of R2. Right, and let's let W be the span of our vectors V sub 1 to V sub P where v sub 1 through v sub p are in a vector space v. We need to show that v sub k is in w for k between 1 and p inclusive. Uh, and we're given a hint, so write an equation that shows that v1 is in w, and then adjust the equation for the general case. So I guess it's kind of induction-y, right? So we have v, uh, v sub 1, uh, and what is that going to be? That's going to be 1 times v1 plus 0 times v2 plus dot 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 plus 0 times v the p and that will give us our vector space uh, that will give us a, a linear combination of our vectors in our span uh, but that is exactly equal to v1 so that's nice uh, and that's so v1 is in w so v1 is in w which is our span of our stuff. Uh, w is equal to our span of P1 to VP. All right. Uh, so then, in general, can we rewrite this? Um, so VK. For some v, uh, so for some k in the integers between um, one and p, 
That means that VK is going to be equal to 0 times V1 plus dot 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 um, plus 1 times VK plus 0 times VK plus 1 plus dot 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 plus 0 times V sub P. So that shows that uh, we have V sub K in W as well. All right. so. What did we learn? Um, we learned definitions of sub subspace and um, vector space, and that was pretty much it. All right, bye.